Hi guys, welcome to Linux Sai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about Linux shell scripting. But before start the lab session we need to understand few points which is what is shell scripting and their use cases. So basically shell scripting is an important part of the process automation in Linux. Scripting helps you to write a sequence of command in a file and then execute them. This save you time because you don't have to write certain command again and again. You can perform daily tasks efficiently and even schedule them for automation execution. You can also set certain script to execute on a startup such as showing particular message on launching a new session or setting certain environments variable. So here I am going to demonstrate how to write your basic shell script and execute them. So now let's do the lab session. And here you can see I am on my Linux terminal. Let me show you the OS release version first of all. So let me click the screen. I will go with cat etc red hat release. You can see this is my rel 9.3. So before directly jump to the writing shell script, first of all we should know what is shell and currently which shell I am using. So shell is an interface of the operating system. It accepts command from user and interrupts them to the operating system. We have a many kind of shells are available in Linux platform and everyone have their own importance like shell, C shell, T shell, corn shell, born again shell. If you want to know how many currently shells are available in this Linux platform, we can list the file here etc shell file. So here you can see in my system I have sh and bash shell. Bash, born again shell, is one of the most commonly used Unix and Linux shell and is the default shell in many Linux distribution including Red Hat itself. If you want to get C shell or corn shell, you can install it by using package management in your Linux either apt get command for Ubuntu based machines or you can use yum or dnf command line tool for arch shell based machine or centos based machine. Let me try to install C and corn shell by using dnf command line tool. dnf install and uh, then I type tcsh and ksh. Let me go with this two shell. Yeah, both are available. Let me install. So it is installed successfully. Yep. Now let's check the one more time output of shell. Here you can see we have. Uh, many more shells are available in this machine, right? So the first question coming in our mind is how can I find out what shell currently I am using? If you want to check currently I am running in which shell, we can go with many ways. Like first we can run echo command. This will show my default shell. So if you want to find out your shell you have on the default environment, you can echoing is by simple command echo dollar uppercase shell command in Linux is used to display a line of text or string. String means set of characters that is passed to its an argument. We can also use this command to print the current shell. So here is an echo dollar shell. I got bin bash. Echo is display the string. Dollar means read the value of variable and shell is the variable. Contain the name of the default shell. So currently shell it show me the default shell. Later on in the upcoming video I will also let you know how we can make my own variables and I can use it. But currently I'll go with the system shell. So you can see this is my current shell bin bash. Another method is that we can also use the echo command with dollar zero. I can say echo dollar zero. The moment I type echo dollar zero, echo dollar shell gives you the default shell while echo dollar zero gives you the current shell. This approach works well on the command line but not from the within the script. Within the script file, the $0 variable will not print the current shell. Instead, it prints the name of the file of the program. Another approach could be ps command. You can also use ps command with hyphen p option which represents the process ID. So ps minus p and twice and use dollar, right? So you can use the special shell parameter twice dollar. This indicates the process ID of current instance of the shell you are running. This is read only parameter and cannot be modified. So the next question is that how to move from current shell to another shell or different shell. If you want to move from one shell to another shell, you can simply type its name. You will be logged in into the new shell. 
For example, I want to move from current shell to the corn shell. So I just type ksh. That's it. And you can see I'll change. Now just try to confirm echo dollar zero. You can see it is ksh shell, right? I exit from here and I'm back on my bash shell. So every shell have their own kind of environment on their types of platform. Now our course, our content, our documentation, our environment is based on bash. So the question come in our mind is how to write down bash script. To write down the bash script, we need to follow very simple step. First step, we need to create a file with .sh extension. Second, we will write down the bash script within it. And third and final, we'll provide the execution permit permission and finally run it. So start with the first point to make a script file. How to make a script file? Let's start with the basic thing. VIM demo.sh. So I start with demo.sh, right? So I'll make a simple script with the extension .sh. It is shell file. I press enter. Now let me write down some bunches of command here like pwd. Sorry. I write down pwd, then ls, then date. Sorry, date and cal. I'll save and quit. That's sufficient, right? So if I go with the cat command, you can see I have write down few of the command. Now the script now this script file is not executable by default. We have to give the executable permissions to run this file. But if you don't want to go the executable permission and you want to check it, ll demo.sh, you can run the sh command to run this kind of file demo.sh. It will show you the output also. See, it's working. Show me the pwd, ls command, date command, and cal command. But it's not a standard way, it's not a best way to run the sh command and run the script. So we need to set the assigned executable permission by using chmode command. chmode plus x and the file name demo.sh. Now the permission is set. You can see permission is set. We change the permission of the script by adding the executable bit for the user. This is done with chmode command. Point is how to run it. So if you want to run the script, so we need to go just only dot slash and the script name demo.sh right here dot represent the complete path of my shell script file or you can say the absolute path means slash root slash demo.sh the press enter i am getting the same result right i am getting the result but this is not a standard way to start your script without shebang so next point is that we need to understand what is the importance of shebang in script and how to provide that environment so let's start with a new file. I'll start a new file demo2.ss this time, right? And press enter. So bash script always start with she bang. She bang is a combination of bash, sorry, it's a combination of hash and bang. This and followed by the bash shell path. This this look like like this path to your inter P R E T yeah, interpreter, right? Something like that. You can understand interpreter in a simple terms, like it's a kind of person whose job is to translate what someone is saying into other language. So in our case, we use bash. So I replace this one and I say, hey, this is bin bash, something like that. This is the best way, right? Now, this should be our first line of the script whenever I start working with the shell script. She bank tells the shell to execute it via bash shell. So shebang is simply an absolute path of the bash interpreter. Depending on the interpreter, you will have a different different languages in which the file is written. So currently the first line indicate the system use bash for execution. The system views, right? Then we can write our script. Let me write down some simple script which will print some line and show me the command output in the terminal. So I type pwd, then I type sleep under the command 20 second, then I say echo double quotes then I said echo hi hi my name is Jack and current date is dollar inside the bracket date yeah that's sufficient for the starting purpose so here let me try to explain so my first line is shebang the first one this will tell the system to use bash for execution this command whatever the command I have mentioned here then I use pwd command which will show my current working directory then I use sleep command to wait for 20 seconds the sleep command works by reducing pauses in your script 
when you use sleep the system wait before moving on the next command the exact time to wait is specified as an argument to the command so by default sleep work in the second so i mentioned 20 second then in the fourth number command i use echo double quotes and this is just only for the blank line then one more time i am echoing to get some print information my name plus the current date command output so i just mentioned hi my name is jack and current date is dollar date so when you close when you enclose a string in double quotes bash will perform the variable expansion and command substitution within the string so currently i am using the commands command substitution command substitution means you can call up the command inside the shell script it means bash will substitute the value of any variable within the string and execute and command enclose in a dollar in the form of this right so you can do that let's make it executable permission and run it so be remember whenever you have to call the command output it should be always in dollar and the bracket right now save and quit give the permission ch mode plus x demo 2 dot sh now you can see demo2.sh we have permission set let's try to run so now i run demo2.sh you can see my script is working and i got command output also let me quickly open another tab and here i use ps-ef and at the bottom you can notice bin bash demo2.sh right so at the bottom you will notice the process work on the bash environment whatever the command i mentioned here it will use the environment which is bash right so this is the importance of shebang which tells that this command will be executed on what kind of platform so here i got a pwd output now i have a blank line and then hi my name is jack and current date is and you can see we are getting the command output also so just simple you can call up any command here and you can get the result in this kind of form right but think about I'm using think about what happened if I'm using another environment like Python code. So I need to inform of the Python interpreter also. Make sense? Let's try. So if you don't know where's the boundary of any command, you can use which command. So I say which. Let me check first of all Python status P Y T H O N. You can see a Python is available in USR bin Python. So which command shows the full path of command or shell, right? Let me create a new file with the basic code of python to print something without shebang and let's see what i have so i'll open the new code dot sh this time right and i simple type print then i want to print something so inside the bracket i use hi this is my first pythn python code simple the save and quit that's it so here you can see i use simple print to print something right now <clears throat> let's make it executable and run it also ch mode plus x new code dot sh and the moment i press enter new code dot sh you will see what happened the moment i press yes i was actually expected one here you can see i got error syntax error nearby this and print like this what happened because i didn't mention the interpreter right whatever the code i have mentioned that code will work on the python environment by default it's working on bash or ssh right so i need to open file new code.sh and and first of all we'll check again where it is the path is uh, usr bin python let me copy go back open the first line mention the shebang and this time not bin bash this time whatever the code i mentioned here i want to execute on usr bin python environment right Save and quit and now run one more time. Yep, you got the result. So hope you understand what is the importance of Shebang and how to write the basic shell script and some command and execute it. So that is sufficient in this first demo. In upcoming session, we will talk about many things related to the scripting part. I'll create a complete kind of environment, like we can call up the variable, we can call up our own variable, conditional structure, many more. So hope you understand this demo so in this demonstration i will talk about basic things of shell scripting and how to make your simple shell script and run it so that's all about this demo hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing 
if you feel something i have missed you or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media link which is mentioned in the description and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye